Hey everyone, so today I have Once Upon a Snap, Once Upon a Time is Now, which basically all we did was walk around the kingdom and got told, you know, little tidbits of information, what Walt had planned for this, how it came to be, and stuff like that, and I really liked it, actually. The only thing that sucked was walking around in my stupid shoes, and I hate shoes, and I'm about to be like Pocahontas and just run around bare feet, which, it's just, ugh hate these stupid shoes. I did not bring appropriate dress flats. And then I walked around in my work flats, the ones I bought for work, and they're still cutting my feet up, which sucks. But anyway, I'm about to head off to Magic Kingdom to go adventure and play in the parks. Um, hopefully Jordan will come visit me because right now she's doing Once Upon a Time Is Now. And also that varies by your location, so it's, it's called something else if you're at a different kingdom but I'm about to go off to the parks and go play around and go meet people and ride some rides so talk to you later okay so it looks like the monorail ferry boat was down for MK so I chose to go to Epcot this is my first time going so I'm really excited but no Magic Kingdom look there's Pluto already There's the big old space golf ball, whatever the heck it is. What the heck am I right? This is not the rocket. This is spaceship Earth Control. That's not. 
dive in the water. The end. Oh, or boy. Or should I say the beginning of your future. Over here, where am I? I'm here. I need to go here. Just look for the thing with the big old planets on it. Oh my god. Oh, they got star books. admission space and I did it on orange like an idiot and now I feel like I'm gonna barf. I absolutely hated it. It was awful. Alright so today obviously it did not go as planned. The plan was to go to Magic Kingdom, eat some food, go pin shopping, watch a parade or two, stay for wishes, but no. The monorail was down to Magic Kingdom, and the ferry was down to Magic Kingdom, and all they were doing was taking buses, and I did not feel like waiting in like a 30 minute line, well that's what it looked like, to get to Magic Kingdom, so I went ahead and just went to Epcot, since I've not been to Epcot before. So, I get to Epcot, of course as you've seen, I went to this thing that I thought was supposed to be Mission Space, but it was Earth Space, I don't know what the heck it is. It was something about space. It was okay. The ending was really pretty though. Like the atmosphere and stuff was really pretty. So then, of course, I get off. I go find, walking around, finally find Mission Space. Dumb old me thinks, well, I'm going to take the orange high intensity one because I can handle it. Absolutely not. First of all, I get car sick easily. What makes me think that I can go on the high, high, I, I don't even know what it's called, the, but the one that goes faster and I don't know. And even, I get, I get halfway through the line because it was supposed to be a 10 minute wait. It ended up taking about 20 minutes or so. I'm halfway through the line and I start reading the orange card. If you have motion sickness or heart problems or whatever, then you might want to try the green one. And if you then can't try the green one, then maybe you just need to go to this little activity area, space training area. I'm like, well, for diddle little. Like, what the heck am I supposed to do now? I'm in the middle. I can't just exit it because, I mean, I'm probably going to barf. But I heard the girls in front of me talking about how there's barf bags in the thing. So I get in the stupid thing, and then it shows a video. It says, do not close your eyes, look straight, and lean your head back. Just leave it. Or else you get disoriented, like pass out or whatever. So I'm thinking, holy cow, what the heck am I doing? And I'm by myself. I don't have anyone with me. I'm in Epcot all by myself. So I get in the ride, I get to be the engineer of course, and so I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, 
okay, I can do this, I can do this. It's too late to turn back now. So I get in there. I look straight ahead. At this point, I'm freaking out. I went ahead and grabbed a barf bag just in case because I didn't know. I had to pray. I said, Lord Jesus, I said, please do not let me puke on this or else I'll be so embarrassed. We get in there that we're laying back like we're getting ready for takeoff. We shoot up in the sky. Holy cow, I can feel it already. I can feel it already. I'm starting to get sick. I'm starting to get sick. Then it gets worse and worse and worse. And then I'm like, oh my gosh. And there was a few times I almost passed out, it felt like, because I was getting dizzy. And it was just horrible. And I should have not done it. That's all on me. I shouldn't have done it. I should have dug them, just went ahead and exit that line. But praise the Lord, I did not throw up. But I was so sick after I got off of it. Like, I just felt like I was going to barf. That I was like, I've got to sit down. I've got to, stupid me, got to go get some food. I didn't barf any up, but might as well just stick some in my stomach so I can uh, barf it up later. So I'm like, where's the best place in Epcot to find some food? I look on the My Disney Experience app. I really didn't see anything I like, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go take the monorail back to the ticket station and I'll just take a bus to Magic Kingdom. I have time to just like go explore the park some, maybe sit at the the Monsters Inc. left floor, ride the stitch thing or something, excuse me. I'll just get me a quick bite to eat there, you know, just go look at the pins. So I just wait on the bus. I ended up going to Magic Kingdom and I walked around. Um, I stopped at Fryer Nooks. Got some mac and cheese with pot roast in it. Holy cow, it was so good. Like, I'm usually not the kind of person to just like try stuff. But, I mean, mac and cheese, pot roast, put it together. <sniffs> Sounds good to me. But I'll insert a picture of that because it was really good. So. After I ate, I decided I'll stop at the Frontierland shop. I don't know what it's called because they have those mystery package for pens. I picked up one of those, and then I'm like, look, I just don't feel good. Might as well just go back to the apartment. So, what, there was something that happened, I feel like. No, no, nothing happened in between there. So here I am, besides getting lost, I'm always getting lost. So I'm at the apartment now, no one's home, Marissa and Jordan went to go get something to eat, I don't know where they went, but they said they'll be back shortly. Um, I have no idea, Jessica's at work still, like I said, she doesn't get off till midnight. I don't know where Arius is and I don't know where Michelle's at. So I'm going to go ahead and fix some cinnamon buns for me and the girls. But first, I gotta wash this because it's gross. But yeah, today was not the best of days, but it was also not the worst of days. All right, I will T T Y L. I am officially over today. I come home thinking I'm gonna fix me some freaking cinnamon rolls. But guess what? The gum things were already open. It's from where? Okay, we didn't get a pan. We didn't have a pan in the stupid apartment. So I accident. I, well, I didn't accidentally do it because I figured we had a pan. I went ahead, I opened, you know, just opened this part. Didn't pop the lid or anything. That wasn't opened. And I looked for a pan. No pan. So I thought, mm, I'm just going to put this up until uh, I can get me a pan. I go buy a pan, have this put up. And I'm thinking, well, I might have it for breakfast one day. Well, I've been waking up at like 6 o'clock in the morning trying to hurry up and get ready to be at work and for training and everything. I've not had time to dig them, um, cook them. And so I thought, you know what, this would be a good dessert. I didn't buy no ice cream bar. I didn't buy no churros. I didn't buy no 
I don't dole we up or whatever. No, because I was looking forward to having my cinnamon rolls. Officially over it. So Jordan and Marissa are supposed to be coming home soon. So I figured what way to brighten up my day than to jump out and scare them. So here's scare cam. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to bed. But tomorrow I gotta get up and go to merchantainment from 9 to 1.15. And then after that, I think me and Jordan are gonna go hit up the parks. Go hit up Magic Kingdom. And so, good night.